Um, watch this. Boom. See this? Now, now, what happens if they don't catch this kid and he lands on his neck or his head? Yes. Right. There's a future CEO right there. Uh, yeah, on his head. Well, now, sorry about the light here. See that? That bouncer threw that kid off. See that? So what you've got is, do it again. Uh, see, see, there's the slow-mo. Threw him right off. So, huh? The kid who wasn't even ready. Manson, Twiggy Ramirez, and Madonna Wayne Gacy. And you call yourselves, you're Marilyn Manson because? Because that's my name. <laughs> Twiggy? Uh-huh. And Madonna Wayne Gacy. Yes. Uh, you're not going to help us understand the... Uh... Oh, you want to understand where the name came yeah. from? Yeah. Uh, I've always watched talk shows. I haven't got to watch yours very often, though. I watch more of the trashier ones, but... Uh, I found that Marilyn Monroe and Charles Manson, about five years ago, when I thought of this, were the two most memorable people from the 60s. And I thought it was interesting that things like talk shows put them on the same kind of celebrity status. And I thought uh, that uh, dichotomy of positive and negative, putting those two names together, uh, represented uh, what I had to say and what I was about. Uh -huh. You wanted that. Well, first of all, I want to say how sorry I am for the parents. And second of all, um, to the young people, I think it's probably a wonderful way to feel involved and to be part of something. And dancing is a wonderful way to get out your frustration. The only problem I have is, is the hurting. I'm sure that there's a much better way to get out your energy than hurting well, other you, people. You don't go out. <laughs> what? In response to that, you don't go out intentionally to hurt anybody. If, 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 if somebody gets hurt in the process, then so be it. That that's just, that's just comes with the territory. But you don't actually go into the pit and say, yeah, well, look at that guy. Maybe I'm going to go bust his nose. That's not how it works. That's not how it happens. Exactly. Yeah. It's random. It's not exactly. Not directed at anybody. You're just getting out what's inside you. Right. Exactly. You're not aiming at anybody in particular. Yes. Uh, Mr. Manson, may I call you Mr. Manson? Are you sure? Uh, from Seconds Magazine, you're quoted as saying, you have to take responsibility. You reap what you sow, and you have to clean up after yourself. I'm sick of people always trying to blame movies, bands, songs, or talk shows for whatever. Teen suicides, drug overdoses, everything else. If someone's stupid enough to kill themselves because of a song, then that's exactly what they deserve. They weren't contributing anything to, success, uh, to society. It's one less effing idiot in the world. There's too many people. If more people killed themselves over music, it wouldn't disappoint me. It would disappoint me in that it's sad that people are that stupid. Exactly. I want to know um, why it is that all of you seem to have satanic signs all over you and what is it that makes, does this music cause you to do what you do? Is that directed at us or yeah. the parents? That's funny, Twiggy. <laughs> uh, that's your little left the music cause us okay. to do what we do? Uh, we cause the music to do what it does, I think. Yeah. I think that moshing is a, is a sign of uh, what Christians would call uh, the apocalypse. Great it's, gnashing it's, of teeth. It's, uh, you know, the culture is just getting more and more destructive, and I think it, you know, this is just a sign of the times. Yeah. And I didn't invent it, you know? No, you didn't. In fact, you look a little like Alice Cooper. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Would any of the moshers know how many deaths have occurred? Well, the Mitchells are only too painfully aware of one. They don't know of any other. This is the first I've ever heard of, and, and one at Woodstock. Well, but we have a broken back over here. Woodstock, too, featured moshing, didn't it? Absolutely. That was yeah. the biggest pit in the world, and it was great. There's also a difference between the moshing, I think, which isn't as violent as stage diving. I think stage diving tends to be ignorant. If you're going to jump off a stage, you can only expect to get hurt. Um, we try and discourage people from even coming on the stage because that's my place of business. If you come where I'm doing my business, then you should plan on doing business or you're going to get hurt. Well, doing business? Uh, in other words, if they well, come up on the stage... There's a lot of heavy instruments and things like that. If you're coming up there, you're going to get hurt. There's a good chance. You know, we try and discourage people to, from coming on the stage. Right. How do you do that? 
We make an announcement before the show. But if somebody comes up on the stage, they're likely to be. Well, the met. bouncers shove them back out, and that's well, so how they end you. up getting hurt all the time. Well, so I do too. If they hit me, I'm going to hit them back. Right. Uh, here you are with a bit of profanity with a stage crasher. Watch this. Uh, Marilyn Manson, the performer, uh, encounters a citizen from the audience and says, What? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Look. Man. Thanks, Twiggy. <laughs> These are all my generation, and I know everyone says moshing is violent, and I don't mosh, but I've been to places where there's moshing. Nobody forces you into a mosh pit. Exactly. You know, if you don't want to go, you don't have to. And these people have formed a trust between them that can't be formed in other places. You can't tell me that putting a bunch of males in the middle of a dance floor going like this isn't asking for it. No, because I've been to mosh places and I don't have to go into the pit if I don't want to. Nobody if you drags me in there. In, if, you, if you want to go to the club or the show, there's clubs on Long Island. This is I Club would. Smash Light you can go to. You can hang out, have a good time. You don't have to get involved. If you want to get involved, you know, you know what to expect when you get out there. If you, if you have any fear of getting hurt, you wouldn't go out there in the first place. But you're not there to get hurt. You're there to have a good time. It also depends on what band you're going to see. If you go to see bands like, like some of the local bands like Hermaphrochrist or Marble or some of the big bands that where there's a lot of moshing, you know you're, it's going to be there. So if you, don't go and see those bands if that's not what you're into. Yeah, what's to prevent some Yahoo from bringing a shiv into this crowd? Nine times out of ten, they walk in the club, they frisk you. Huh? They frisk you? I'm the door they 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 You have metal detectors. How are you going to get through that? Well, they, they take a want to it. If it's, if it's like the collar or something like that, they'll know it's that. But they'll uh -huh. check jackets. They and make stuff. you pull out your pockets if they feel your keys in there or anything that you have to pull it out. Show them what it is. Right. People aren't bringing in knives. And, and we shouldn't be off put by your look. Is you want us to, I suppose, black lipstick? No. You know, this is not what your father dreamed for you at this uh, age. Yeah, but my parents don't mind. They're very liberal on it. They're uh, not like. Um, and you are drug free, and yes, you're not stealing anybody's hubcaps nope. or anything else. You're nope. not promiscuous. I have a leg legitimate job. I work at a club. I work at a record store. And this is what you enjoy doing. Yes. And you can take care of yourself. Exactly. Don't you have a little empathy, however, for the Mitchells and also for the parents of these young? We're talking 17, 16, and 16 here. Uh, you're not concerned about this? I've, I feel I've, horrible I've, about it. Oh, absolutely. I'm, I'm horrible. We heard about that the night it happened. Everybody heard about it. Mr. Mitchell wanted to say, sir. I don't have a problem with the bands or the music unless they encourage it, and I don't know if they do or not. The, uh, the fact that Chris went on a stage and, and, jo and jumped off doesn't make much sense to me sometimes either. But uh, if it's going to be... You know, I think the, I think the club uh, owners or venue that, that's doing this could stop that in some way or other. The band don't want the, the kids on the stage, then the kids shouldn't go on the stage. If you don't want them to get hurt, I don't think the bouncers should be throwing them back off. No, they shouldn't. You know, not in a violent way anyway. Stopping them from coming up is, is one right. thing. Okay? But this is, to me, is as close to shouting fire in a crowded theater as you yeah. can get. Yeah. I think the stage is set here. The fuse is lit. And all you need are a couple of elbows, a couple of punches, more people get involved, and pretty soon everybody's at the door crushing everybody else. Yeah. I don't have to give you the speech about the tragedies that have developed, at, for example, at rock concerts. Yeah. When, they, when they showed me the films of this and they said it was called uh, dancing, I said when I was a kid it was called inciting to riot. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And it was a whole different ballgame. Yes. Thank you. Well, I never, you know... <laughs> What do what I have to understand? understand yeah, stuff and, you know, it's not just it's not just bands like Marilyn Manson. These guys are great. They're they a great, great band. I saw them open for Nine Inch Nails, right. and they were phenomenal. But it happens at rap concerts. It happened. We we slam dance to the country band at Woodstock. I mean, come on, it happens everywhere. My purpose is what we're doing. My purpose, of, my all purpose of being here is to let these kids know and the parents know that they can. The ultimate is is death, and that's right. that's what we we suffered. I have no problem with the music if that's what they want to listen right. to. Every generation is going to have their music. Right. All right. And, you know, I remember when they, they yelled at our music when we were, when we were kids. When we yelled I know. At I think it's unfortunate that you parents know. don't know what their kids are doing. I know. That disappoints me. <laughs>